Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last time, well, Edgeworth kinda got charged with murder. Today, we continue the investigation. Okay, Criminal Affairs Department, let's go. Yep, we got progression. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey, thanks for coming out, pal. Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Why so glum, chum? How'd the victim... How'd the victim go? How'd the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm sure Ms. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. It's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help. Or he wants to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason for why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Alright, so, the victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. I've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Now about that autopsy report. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that... Yeah, I made a copy for you. Okay. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face? Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Hmm. They can't ID him, but he looks familiar to Maya. Interesting. Take a look at this. I'm not actually presenting it to him. I'm just reading it. Time of death. Sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause one bullet shot to the heart. Hmm. Well, that's kind of open and shut. Like, yeah. Sometime before, like on the 24th or 25th, one bullet to the heart. And we saw a gunshot. I mean, hey. I will show him this. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Okay, well, you gotta shed some light on this. I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. Okay, that 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 was that was amazing. All right, well, let's go back to Gord Lake. See if Lotta is done checking her film. All the navigation I gotta do, though. There we go. Hey y'all, Lotta, wait up a sec, we got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey, this is them, take a look. Wait, see, see, he's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes, but you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Uh, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? <laughs> I love that your choices are I reckon so and I reckon no. Um, but... I mean, we're on the side of justice, and 
you know, even in the face of inconvenient truths, you can't lie because that's perjury. So I reckon so. <laughs> What's that? Now, don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. W wait, Lada. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. But he's a lawyer, and lawyers are for justice too, and okay. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Gross. But Lada. Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? Don't matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. She left. Oh, she's about to cry. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Yeah, that's a very, very grim photo. Wrong button. I thought I was going to bring up the... There we go. Hmm. Taken at 12.15 a.m. I mean, somebody very clearly is holding a gun. Hmm. Also, let's check profiles. Oh, these are all we have right now. Maya Faye, Miles Edgeworth, Dick Gumshoe, a lot of heart. She's 22, claims to be a research student. She came down to photograph shooting stars. Now, actually, they're meteors. Thank you. All right. Wait, something's going on here. Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! That is the worst Santa I have ever seen. Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and St. Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. L Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Keonce. <laughs> Oh god, that is the most ghetto name I've ever heard in my life. Well, one of them. I've actually heard worse. Like, far worse, but whatever. My girl, Keonce, deserves the best. Keonce? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She brought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? N no, she's not. She's 17, Larry. I'm his partner, Maya Fay. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? N no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. All right, so uh, let's talk to Larry. Why not? Hey, Larry, there was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonce, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Yikes. That, uh, ooh, uh, that, that hit a little too close to home there, huh? Then you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Beyonce's not in town right now. She... She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Me! The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Okay, but uh, before we get on that, about them samurai dogs. Um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? 
Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. Samurai thing was Kiyonce's idea. Oh, she's a woman, you know. Yes, Larry, we get it. You have a girlfriend. She was all, Chase, name you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G Gordy? Okay, but let's just not go like in the logical order and we'll just go in sequential order. So Mr. Edgeworth, was your classmate? Oh, so Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Defense lawyer? But Edgy's a prosecutor. Hmm, wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. And Phoenix Wright is a defense lawyer. What? Eddie's got a proboscis on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about a man's duty to society and all of that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Let's not dwell on that. Let's talk about Gordy. Let's talk about happy things. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. Uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's r really real. Hmm. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. Uh, one million? Grow up, Larry. The Gordy article added to the court record. All right, all right, all right. Huh. Can we ask him about the camera? What's that? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. Huh? Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? Of course I know. Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate. Just let that one sink in. I was talking about the weird contraption on that camera. Oh, that? Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. But don't go showing me it then. Jeez. Yeah, well, why? Hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well... Oh wait, Maya says she had seen him before, didn't she? Okay. W what's this? You know my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Okay, well you're not really giving me much information here, Larry. Don't know much about that. I'm just a simple vendor of samurai dogs, dude. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I think we're done here. Hmm. I guess we, you know, with this new information, we can talk to Edgeworth. He's not even here. Okay. Um, with this new information, we can go to the criminal affairs department. I mean, we don't really have much new information in retrospect because we kind of got the autopsy report from the detective, but whatever. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for the type of gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently, 
An important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. Well, darn. Um, Where do I go from here? I think we're kind of done here at the public beach. Yeah, nothing's happening here at the boat rental shop. Anything else I can examine at the campsite? Hmm. Looks like a computer is attached to the camera. And that didn't really help out with much. Sign says no camping. Any place to pick the picture tent? Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Yeah, Maya is... Yeah. Okay, uh, I kind of don't know what to do now. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I just decided to return to the law offices since nothing was going on anywhere else. Because usually you just return here when it's like um, you're kind of lost and you don't know where to go and Maya will give you hints. But yeah, apparently this is going to be actually uh, important. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I, I remember now. This guy. This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him. For old times sake. Alright, so, uh, we got a lead. It's a lawyer. It's familiar with Grossberg. That painting is still gone. Ah, ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You're Mills. Something, are you? Ah. I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you, you're Mills. Something, too, are you? Ah. Her little sister, yes. You grown. You kind of look a lot like your sister, you know. Who takes me back? Ah! The days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I beg your pardon. Of course. We came out to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? Yeah, let's, uh, let's talk here. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I heard just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? Huh? Who? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. Well, this is terrible news indeed. Guess he hadn't heard anything. Most importantly, Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. Suppose it's my just dessert. Old bitter dessert. Okay. I guess it's just still in Red White's office or something. I don't know. Whatever. So, let's present this picture to him. Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen that man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond. And you say this is the man Miles Edward shot? Now, tell me about this Robert Hammond. That's not a pun, that's a real name. Oh my god, he must be really important. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. <gasps> DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Remember, that's what Mia was investigating and she got 
killed and blah blah blah. Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit mirror. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my girl. Her spirit medium, Misty Fairy. Boo. Your mother contracted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. Hmm. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal. Oh, they never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right Mr. Grossberg? Er, uh, yes, yes quite. Thank you. N no, please, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? Hmm. So, Edgeworth's dad was the victim of the DL6 incident. Maya's, Mia and Maya's mother, Misty. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Mia, Maya, Mia and Maya's mother, Misty. Ooh. She contacted the spirit of Edgeworth's dad to find the victim. They took the victim to court. But Robert Hammond got the victim cleared of all charges. Or not, not the victim, but the suspect cleared of all charges. And now he wound up dead. And Edgeworth is the prime suspect for his murder. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Could it be a revenge plot, I guess, on the guy that got his dad's killer off? Huh. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Missy Faye's photo added to the court record. All right, then. Well, let's get going to the detention center. Because something is amiss here. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Okay, but let's present him this picture. Edgeworth, it's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit, I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident... Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Alright. We got some cooperation here. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed and I saw it all. Wow. My memories from that time are foggy. Suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gort Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium. Oh, but wait, he just... Yo. The police didn't identify the body yet. So, how out of the blue was 
Edgeworth Flight, yep, it was Hammond. Hmm. I mean, technically speaking, only people who knew him could, like, figure out who he was from his photo before the police made any official statement. Edgeworth was really quick to say that, yes, it was indeed Hammond, and he hasn't even seen the autopsy report or the picture of the victim. Interesting. That spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. About to end? The DL6 incident... The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Hmm. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Hmm. Okay. I, I don't even know why I showed him that, actually. I, I'm i always used to the autopsy report being right next to the badge. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Oh, fine. Well, what do you got to say about this, yo? Hmm. Would have thought there'd be a photo. Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, Wright? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right? It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Of course we will. Ah, uh, who could have guessed this... Oh, ah, uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should. W what's that? An earthquake? Nick! It's a big one. Where? It's coming down. Phew. That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor in a ball shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up on a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. You have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. How nice of them to not show Edgeworth like that because, you know, I mean, we, don't, don't show him at his worst. Don't show him at his worst like that. He doesn't deserve it. Hmm. But all right. But like he said, he didn't shoot the dude, but I mean, we have a picture. And then, you know, the dramatic irony ex aspect, you know, I'm just saying. What's going on here? Eek. What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. I'm not Edgeworth. Er, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. All right. Looks like you got some new things to say here. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she's 
Oh, that's why she says she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of might, but she'll let us see who's who. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. Hey, case okay, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh. What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? Hmm. Afraid tomorrow is going to be a life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. Got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. We got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I just asked to file the paperwork. Still got time, pal. Talk to him again. Me, please. Have to convince him. Have to make him let him defend you, please. Oh, you're the only one who can do it, pal. No one can save Mr. Edgeworth. Well, funny you say that because, my boy, we got this. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. I'm glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up with the starting new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out my... Oh, i lived out my whole life. Oh my god. Can't read, also phone. Give me a second. My family is weird, but alright, let's try to read this. Correctly this time. We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. So yeah, just a whole bunch of things just going on now. So yeah, Edgeworth, you know, suspected murder of a dude that, like, got what might have been his dad's killer off. So, yeah, you know, how how convenient that that guy ends up dead three days before the Statue of Limitations is over for that trial. Interesting. Edgeworth wanted to put everything about that trial behind him. Could have also included Robert Hammond. Yeah, the DL6 incident. Who knew that the Faye family would be connected to Edgeworth like that? And then there's two witnesses to the murder, but... One of them canceled for some reason, and then we got a lot of heart who has a picture. So yeah, things are getting pretty deep. Pretty, pretty deep. Well, either way, next time, first day of the trial. See you all then. Goodbye.